It's finally happened. I'm a 40-year-old virgin. I don't know what it is about me that women find so unappealing. I always try my best to respect women, no matter what. Let them know that I see how strong they are, and let them know that I value them as people. I always try to let them speak and never talk over them. I've been working on things like not mansplaining ever since I knew it was a problem, and I always try to make women feel safe. Somehow, though, I just never met the right woman, and I don't know what to do. I've only ever had one girlfriend, but we never got physical. It was an open relationship, <sighs> oh, God. and she had a lot of suit. Oh. I know it's wrong for me to write this. I don't want to sound entitled. And if you knew me in real life, then you'd know that I don't act entitled. I make absolutely sure that there's nothing I'm doing which could make a woman feel like I'm expecting sex or like I see her as a sexual object. I know I'm not entitled to sex, but I still want it. How could there not be one woman who I have this connection with? I've been reading Dr. Nerdlaw for years. Well, that explains it. And I've been trying to, and I've been trying my best to be respectful, natural, and not rock the boat. I'm just so sad and lonely. I'm going to spend my whole 40th birthday crying. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video uh, is because I recently discovered uh, this subreddit. The subreddit is called SRS Men. So um, to give you guys an idea of what SRS Men is um, all about, uh, I'm going to read I'm going to read all the, the, the credences here. Okay. Um, so a little summary, SRS men is pretty much just a bunch of feminist guys talking about how being a man is terrible and how not to be masculine and masculinity is bad and it hurts and it oppresses women. Um, I guess I'm going to read a little summary. It goes, SRS men is an exclusive, safer space where toxic masculinity is deconstructed and men's issues are discussed from a feminist perspective. So that's SRS men. Uh, some of their some of their credences it goes like this: A moderation will be brutally imperial. You can't say bad things about women. God forbid. God forbid you say anything bad about their God. No, no men's rights users, libertarians, or other you are fascists. No, but no all men don't like that talk. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you just have to, you just have to, you know, take it as a given that all men are bad, and you gotta flagellate yourself. God forbid you defend the honor of men. That, no, no, no. This subreddit is just for defending women and telling men that they're bad people. Discussion of men's issues from a feminist perspective. Does that even exist? <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Discussion of gender roles and lifestyle in the context of feminism, such as patriarchal society, fitness, diet, hobbies, etc. Women and anyone else who doesn't identify as a man are super duper welcome. Discussions of topics that men are typically low to discuss due to societal norms of masculinity. I'm um, societal notions of masculinity. I, what those topics are, I know not. Discussions of construction, development, and maintenance of masculinity. Discussion of single fatherhood issues. Discussion of acknowledging, analyzing, and rejecting privilege and how it creates a non-misogynistic world. Discussion of how to be a kick-ass father, uncle, older brother, or just plain awesome person for the little ones in your life. Okay, so, you know, I... I they, they really don't like MRAs, but that's not what this video is about. This, this video is just to give you guys an idea of um, the, the virgins, the virgins that, that congregate over here. And I think it's interesting, you know, to, to give a perspective of virginity from a, a fellow virgin, you know, because uh, this isn't the only post here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with the 40-year-old virgin post. And start off with, with uh, th this is why, this is why I hate feminism. This, this 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 one right here and, and the next ones I'm gonna show you that this is only part of the reason why I make videos against feminist bullshit and social justice warrior bullcrap. You know, this man he he is ashamed of his natural urge to want to procreate with a woman. He says, I feel entitled, I want to respect and you wanna know, there's, there's nothing wrong with wishing to respect a woman. There, there, there's nothing wrong with that. You know? But this man went 40 years of his life never realizing that what he's been taught was abject bullshit. You know, I figured this out back when I was 15 that, you know, what people told me the world was really wasn't what it was. I learned at 15 that girls like jerks. Made a whole video about it. It's one of my first YouTube videos. It's, it's pretty awesome, but it's old and crappy. You know, but I mean, this man went, what, what, 25 years of his life 
let's say he started trying to date girls at 15, 25 years, never realizing that, you know, being a nice guy isn't, isn't going to get him too far with a lot of ladies. And, it's, and you want to know something? It, 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 it pains me to say being kind to a woman in, in, our, in our modern society is not the best way to date. It, it, it pains me so. I despise having to say that. But unfortunately, that's just reality. That's just reality. You're not going to find very many women who like to have sex with kind men. You'll find some. Absolutely. I met one back in high school. You know, she ended up being bullied out of high school, and I didn't get to talk to her for a long time. We lost touch with each other. But they exist. They're real. Are they the vast majority? No. No, they're not. You know, but this this man, he it's, and it's unfortunate. He goes his whole life never learning this. You know, but I mean, yeah, unfortunately... A lot of the other guys, they don't really, they, they don't really, you know, direct him to getting some good advice about how to change his status or anything like that. They just kind of, they kind of stroke his, his ego, his, his ego a little bit, you know. So um, here's here's one post by I'm not, I forget his username. So he, he tries to be supportive a little bit. So this is just a preface to what's coming next. He goes, um, there's entitlement, and there's assessing how you feel. Never think it's wrong to do the latter. It's what you need to do to deal with things. That's good. Loneliness is really tough to get through. It's good to acknowledge that, and it doesn't have to go paired with feelings of entitlement necessarily. Okay, that's cool. Except men aren't entitled to women, and most men don't even actually feel that way. Um, of course, there's no universal find a partner advice, as I'm sure you know, but sound advice is this. For any sort of connection with anyone else, as well as yourself, the most important thing is self-worth. So keep being nice to yourself. Maybe if you're feeling a little better, celebrate your birthday today. Simply because you deserve to have a nice birthday and you deserve to have a companion who gives you love, even if that companion is yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Well, the whole part that companion is yourself. You, you can't, you, a companion is someone who accompanies you. you. You can't accompany yourself. That by definition, okay, whatever. Make yourself a super special coffee or something. Please have a nice birthday and take the opportunity to celebrate yourself a little bit. Here goes, I'll start. Congratulations on being a 40-year-old who is stronger than feelings of entitlement and also stronger than unrealistic ideals of masculinity and also strong enough to make a really awesome birthday coffee. Now, see, the thing about entitlement here, you know, is they're demonizing the natural desire to wish to procreate with a woman. And you want to know something? If men are entitled to women, fucking fantastic, because that's how we all exist. We are here. Because men want to be with women. Now, should this desire control you? Absolutely not. No, of course not. But there's no reason to be ashamed of wanting to be with another human being. It, it's absurd. And that these, that these people, these, these, these kids, I'm going to call them kids because this is a juvenile idea of men, masculinity, and sexuality. This juvenile feminist idea that wishing to want to be with a woman, that seeking out sex somehow means you're entitled to it. That working to obtain sex from a woman, which you have to do regardless. Unfortunately, that's that's just the way our, our most animals really work. Is men have to present something to the ladies, show that they can take care of them, and then they can have sex with them. Or, you know, you can go the pickup artist route, be an entertaining person for a little while, tell them what they want to hear, and bam! You know, there you go, bang it out. But you still have to do something. You still have to be involved. And for men, having sex is more active than it is for women. That's just That's just reality. And telling these men that they're entitled or that they should control their entitlement, which is absurd because once again, if you think you have to earn sex from a woman, you can't be entitled to it. You know, if you, if you have to work and become a better man to try to convince a woman to have sex with you, you're not entitled to it. You very clearly can't think that. Otherwise, you wouldn't put in effort to change. You know, you're, this is really just shaming men's natural urge to want to be with women. Let's continue. So, uh, fails... Um, to our the guy, whatever, fails, the four-year-old virgin replies, you're right, I might not be having any sex, but at least I know I'm doing my part to make the world a better place. By not, you know, creating more bitch-ass niggas, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you're making the world a better place, man. The important thing is that I'm being a good person by refusing to make women feel unnecessarily uncomfortable or pressured into doing anything she might not want to do. See, well, see, here's, 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 here's the comforting thought. Here's, here's what's going to make your life a lot easier. Women want to have sex with manly men. Oh, maybe that won't make your life better because you're afraid of being a manly man. See, because the next statement he goes is, the problem here is masculinity. No, the problem isn't bad advice that ladies give to men that they like, you know, nice guys. No, 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 no. 
The problem isn't feminists making men ashamed of wanting to be with women. No, 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 no. The problem is is masculinity. That's obviously the issue here. It, it's not crappy advice. It, it's masculinity. You know, it's it's guidelines to being a man. That that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, come on. If men were not pressured to approach women like creeps, then men like us wouldn't have to feel. I'm sorry. The men like us wouldn't have to be so obligated to make sure women feel extra safe. That's absurd. First of all, if there's no difference between men and women, then it's women's job to make sure that they feel safe. Okay? Either either you're in or out, ladies. E either you want men to protect you or you don't. You 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 can't have it both ways. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's up to you to feel safe. Approaching women like creeps. What the bloody hell are you talking Going up to someone saying, excuse me, miss, how are you? That's not creepy. See, the only thing that makes something creepy for a lot of ladies is that they're not attracted to you. That's all it is. It's not that, you know, you look like Edward Scissorhands. You know, you're not Freddy Cougar. You know, you're not fucking, you know, I don't know, some guy with long spider-like fingers and, and you're missing an eye or something like that. It's just they're not attracted to you. You know, but that's not creepy, and it's absurd. You know, once again, it's a demonization. It's a subtle demonization of men naturally wanting to approach and talk to women. And it's unfortunate that they're using this demonization to make him feel fine about being a virgin. Bruh, if you're a virgin, own that shit. I'm a virgin. I don't give a damn about being a virgin. I literally did nothing to obtain this status. It means nothing to me. I don't care. All right? It... It, to to be ashamed of it, to be proud of it, it's absurd. It just is. It just is. You know? To to, to sit here and, and, and try to demonize men wanting to be with women so you feel good about not talking to them is the wrong way to go, man. Own it. Own it. You've been lied to. The world isn't the way you think it is. I'm sorry. A lot of ladies, they're not super fond of kindness in men. It's unfortunate. It pains me to say this. I don't like saying it, but it's the truth. Let's continue. What I'm going through might be difficult, but things women go through under patriarchy are, are such as the fear of being cat. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 was women, men approaching them and talking to them. That's huh. no, yeah. Let's let's flagellate ourselves some more, right, guys? The fear of being cat called are much worse. Yeah, you being lonely and not being able to talk to women because you're scared of making them feel bad. You know. That, that's okay. You can deal with that. You know, you can wallow in your loneliness. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry I'm giving you some tough love, bruh, but come on. Come on. Plus, many of them don't want to be called a slut. This is why I need feminism. Feminism has left you lonely, craving a woman to touch you. This is why you need feminism. It has, done, it has not helped you. It has given you crap advice, my friend. Let's, let's move on. Another virgin on here. 26-year-old virgin trying to find a reason to go on. Now, this guy, unfortunately, is suicidal. He goes, um, I don't know if this is the right place, but I had to say something to someone somewhere else. I just struggle, and I know it's juvenile, but getting towards 30 and knowing I'll never have a family or respective society makes it seem like I have no purpose in life. Now, I find this one to be uh, rather interesting in that a lot of the guys who were commenting were, were, were telling him, sex isn't, all, sex isn't important. You know, it's, it's okay to not have sex. It's okay. And, and, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They, they just missed the point. They just missed what's really making this man sad. The man is lonely. He says it clear, clear as day. But getting towards 30 and knowing I'll never have a family or respective society. Bam. He's upset about the fact. He's not, he's not upset about never having a woman's vagina envelop his penis. No. He's upset because he feels like he's going to be lonely. You know, I mean, I'll tell you the truth. I used to feel that way a couple years ago. I used to think that I was never going to be able to reproduce with the woman and, and have a family and have children and, and, you know, have a nice family. So I understand his pain. It hurts. It hurts coming to terms with that. You know, so so for me, it was, it was not the sensation of sex I craved from him. I didn't care. I wanted a companion and I wanted children. I wanted to be with the mother of my children and coming to terms with the fact that I may never have that, that's painful. He, he's scared of loneliness. That's his problem. His problem isn't the fact that he's a virgin. His problem is that he's alone and telling him that sex isn't important. It's not fixing the underlying issue of his loneliness. You know, but these guys, man, you know, and, 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 and it's, 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 an, it's an interesting thing though. It's an interesting thing how these men have to who flagellate themselves you know, that these, these men have to be ashamed 
of their natural desire to want to be with a woman. But I'll tell you another thing that I find very interesting about this subreddit and about most men who crave to be with women. It, it's very funny to me how our culture is somehow misogynistic, and yet if men don't touch women, if they don't get attention from women, they get fucking suicidal. They hate women so much that when they don't have a companion that has a vagina, when they don't emotionally bond with someone of the opposite sex, they feel like they're worthless. That's how much men hate women. And these men, I, I, and you know, I, you know, here's the thing. You know, of course, you know, nobody's safe for me. I make fun of anybody. I don't care who you are. So the 40-year-old virgin, I'm making fun of him. I'm sorry, no one's safe. But I'm not really angry at it. It's not really his fault. You know, I'm really angry at the crap advice that he got. I'm really angry at these guys who are self-flagellating themselves and being ashamed of their natural desire to want to be with another human being. That's what really, that's what irks me, you know, their abject desire to shame themselves into thinking that they don't feel what they feel in entitlement. Get that nonsense out of here. You're, enti you're not entitled if you want to have sex with a woman. You're here because your father wanted to have sex with a woman. You exist. You want to know something? Women want to have sex with men too. Let's get this nonsense out of here. Let's get this nonsense out of here that you should feel bad for wanting to approach a woman or talk to a woman or compliment a woman or be around a woman. That's absurd. That's absolute nonsense. My word. My goodness. You know, so here, here's another. Here's, one, here's the last book I'm going to talk about. I'm going to wrap this video up, man. So there's one guy, again, on SRS. He says, I just need to vent. Uh, it's a really long post, so I'll probably, I'm just going to read a couple of sections out of it. And then I'll leave the rest for you guys to read. You know, so um, this guy goes, you know, I'm 20 year old. He says, I've never had anyone close to me. No real friends, unfortunately. Distant family. Um... He says, I feel unmanly due to my small penis size, um, four inch with a pathetic girth, short height, being a coward, being weak. I also feel pressure to do things that I am not. I also like Pilates and yoga, and that makes me feel like shit when I tell people that when I see the disgusted look on their face. I mean, I mean look, I, I don't care about you doing Pilates and yoga, man. I mean, that's your prerogative. You being a coward, on the other hand, that, that, that needs to be addressed. We, we need to fix that cowardly bullshit. You doing Pilates and yoga, that's, that's not really even an issue. Um, so, so I, who cares? I often, see, I often see advice on here that point out that, uh, the male fashion fitness, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. Yeah. Well, you still need to exercise and work out. Um, however, being a bodybuilder is much more involved. It's very hard to be a natural bodybuilder. Your body has to produce a whole bunch of testosterone. So you just lift a couple of weights, do some aerobic exercises. I mean, there's no reason for you not to exercise. At first, I wanted to be like an endurance runner from body. That's a good idea. Even then, I just generally want to be regular. That's cool. Lose the man boob, lose the man boobs and small gut. Okay, okay, okay. So you want to be fit? That's that's reasonable. Now here's one. Here's one. Here's one thing that's really interesting here, and I'm gonna stop here. It goes. I try to be a feminist, but I have parts of me that abhors that abhors women. I don't like it, but I cannot stand women. He goes. Okay, slight hyperbole, um, slight hyperbole, but I'm in an emotional state. I am trying to figure out why, but part of it has to do with my experience with more lack thereof. Everyone has always hated me, but at the least, men tolerate me. Women just seem to ignore me or find me repulsive. I am frightened that my lack of experience will drive people away. Most people that I have, most people have dated since middle school or high school. And so he just kind of goes on, and, and, and it's really sad. It's really sad. It's two months ago, so I'm not going to comment on it. I'm not going to say anything. But I do think it's, uh, this is an interesting video to make, you know, because... Like I said earlier in the video, I myself, I'm a 20-year-old virgin. I've never had sex with a woman before. Um, and it doesn't bother me in the least bit. Um, my penis size also, it doesn't bother me. I, I don't care. It, it works. I can ejaculate. It is what it is. I'm also black, so. <laughs> no, but um, it, it, these are a lot of problems that I, I acknowledge um, really bother men. And one of the reasons why I, you know, proclaim that I'm a virgin in such a matter-of-factly way is to show a lot of younger guys who hopefully watch me just how much of a shit I don't give. I, I really don't care. Um, it's really not that important. You know, if I had sex today, my life would not change at all. You know, you have to really address the fact, the real issues. You know, the real problem with me is my relationships with women. I, I, I have an issue with finding a lady who wants to have a relationship. I can have sex. I have no problem 
with that. And I don't think most men really would have any, it, it's not really hard to find a woman to have sex with. It, it really isn't. It's really having a committed relationship. That's the issue. That's the hard part of a lot of, of our culture today. And so I, I really do, I really do, fa I really do feel bad for a lot of these guys. And I know I sound really agitated in this video and most of that agita agitation comes from the self-flagellation. It just, it really irks me, you know, that our culture, uh, that these feminists have, have actually taught these men to be ashamed of wanting to be with women, you know, and, and it's sad that they put such a, uh, such a, uh, a huge burden on themselves, really, you know, um. And I know no words is going to easily alleviate that from any young man. I, I just hope I can plant the seeds to help you kind of, put it bluntly, get over it. Uh, I don't mean to say that in a blunt way. I mean to say that in a way that you, you, you can, there's more important things in life to worry about, really. And you're going to be okay. Uh, and having sex is not that difficult. You know, you just go to a bar. You can lie your way into some pussy. I mean, it's not, it's not hard. You just work out. You look like a nice, decent guy. You tell women what they want to hear. Yeah, but to have a relationship, that's the hard part. I, I still haven't cracked the code on how to do that. But, you know, again, young men, you know, if you're a virgin, it, it's it's okay, man. It, it's okay. You know, life doesn't end. Life doesn't end or begin there. You're going to be all right. You know, the real issue here is don't be ashamed of wanting to be with a woman. Don't be ashamed of, of, of not wanting to be alone. Don't be ashamed of that. You know, it's okay to feel that way. You're a human being. We're social creatures. Of course you have a desire to want to be with another human being. And, 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 and get this feminism out of here, okay? Again, young men, get this feminist nonsense out of here. You're not entitled if you're putting in work to be with a woman, okay? Men have been doing that for thousands of years. Thousands, and if men are entitled, good. Keep it up. We need you to continue our species. Get that nonsense out of here. You're not entitled, especially if you want to, wanting to be with a woman does not make you a bad person. And I want every single man to get that crap out of their head because it's bullshit. So that's the main message of today's video, man. Don't be ashamed to be a man. Don't be ashamed to want to be with people. So that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comments below. And as always, have a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios. Hey. They see you stayed after the little, after the screen went black. Now that's cool. That's great. So I decided to do something I, I really am not very comfortable with doing. You know, after looking at uh, the, my Patreon page, you know, the Patreon thing. And I decided to do something that uh, a lot of people have done. And I just, I don't know, I just feel odd about it. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to ask if people can uh, donate to this, to this thing right here. I project about, uh, about 5,000 people will see this, you know, and, and I have a goal of trying to get this, this number right there, to uh, 75. So, out of the 5,000 people who will probably watch this video, I just need 30 of you guys to just, you know, toss a dollar. That'd be cool. That'd be great. Or not. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the only satisfaction you get is you make my life a little bit easier. So, yeah. I mean, no pressure. I mean, if you don't want to, I mean, that's fine. That's, that's your prerogative. You know, but, but it, it would help me out, you know. It, it'd make me very appreciative, you know. And, and if I get new patrons, then then for some odd reason, I don't know why people like this, but I'll do it anyway. You know, I'll just make a, I'll, I'll put a little annotation. Or I'll put in the description box all the names of the people who donate to me. Probably make like an end credit slide of all the people. So there you go. So you know that uh, you've made my life easier. And I appreciate you. Or not. I mean, it is what it is. I just thought I would ask because I don't know. So you guys have good...